So that was tuning me in. So I need one final volunteer up here on stage to act as an adjudicator for these two people. Okay. Uh, somebody who's not related to them, so I know you, you two people are. Um, can we borrow perhaps the gentleman there? Give him a round of applause as he makes his best voice. Okay. We're going to find that useful in a few moments' time. You don't know anyone who's on stage, do you? No. Fantastic. So there's no way you could have set anything up with them or anything like that. Brilliant. In which case, we are going to use this. In the moment, I'm going to ask you to do some very simple tasks. You're going to act as it were as the adjudicator. But the first task is, can you give them a shuffle so there's no way anyone can know what order they're in? By the way, I have a prediction. We'll come to that later on. Let's move that back slightly. Let's give it an area for you to actually see. Pretty happy there. Yeah. Now put them back in the same order you started with. No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> If you'd like to hand those cards to the lady over there so she can give them just a little bit of a quick shuffle, that way we truly, truly do know that there is no way I could know or you could know what order they're in. And then if you'd like to get them back off that lady, that would be fantastic. Now I want to touch them as little as possible, so I'm going to take the cards and I'm literally just going to. So I'll spread them like that so you can't really see the faces. And I'm going to run this joker down the side and just say stop at any time. Okay, we stop there. So we're going to place it in there. I need you to remember the card that you're about to see. Remember it. Keep that clearly in your mind. Okay? You couldn't see that, could you? Good. That's why I put that divider there. You're not supposed to be able to. Remember that card. Brilliant. Now, if you can take those cards, give them another shuffle, one final shuffle. And then, just place them, just like I just down there. I feel that we've had more of a success with the, the words in the book. That was more difficult, so I'm going to give you a pack. So let's just pull that out first. I'm going to give you that, so you're ready with it, and a pen. Okay. Keep that there for a moment. What we're going to ask you to do, because you're still in that slightly relaxed state. So I'm going to take this other deck because I don't want to touch those cards that have been shuffled, otherwise I get accused of cheating. And this is about an experiment, nothing more. And I'd like you to just let one card flood your mind, okay? And then whichever card just flooded your mind, write it down, okay? Fantastic. So the situation is this. You're writing down one card. Brilliant. Keep that, fold it in half so that nobody knows what it is. You've got a card in mind. Pick a number between 1 and 52, sir. Say it out loud. 17. 17. Keep that there, don't let us see it yet. For the first time, in fact not yet, take the cards, can you pick them up? And can you deal down, face down, onto that table area, one card face down? Then a second, then a third, a fourth, a fifth, a sixth, and so on. Seven, eight, till we get to 17. And stop when you get to number 17. 17, yeah, okay. What was your card, by the way? We'll put that there for the one. Name out loud your card. Jack of Hearts. The Jack of Hearts. I'll come to you in a moment, sir. You've got a piece of paper there, okay? There is an envelope here. I'm going to take the envelope. I've got a prediction. I made that beforehand. You had a free choice of cards, a jack of hearts. I placed one card into this envelope. And the card that I hoped would be selected was, I've forgotten myself, but it was indeed the jack of hearts. <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. That's only phase one. Phase two. Remembering that these cards were shuffled, not by me. I did not touch the cards that were shuffled by the three people on stage. We randomly selected a number between 1 and 52, didn't we? There's no way I could 
No, he had a card in mind, he didn't write it down, nothing's been set up. So there is absolutely no way I could have known that would be the Jack of Hearts. It would be even more impossible for anyone else to know. Could you open up your piece of paper and show everyone the card that flooded your mind, the card you felt uh, almost an instinct to write down? Could you open it up? What is it? The Jack of Hearts, give her a round of applause. <laughs> this is really in fact, Give that lady a round of applause, thank you very much for getting up. If you go back to the audience, give that lady a round of applause, thank you very much for being here. Go back to the audience. So here's the thing, a deck of cards were shuffled. I didn't touch them. But somehow, the card that was thought of, not only did I manage to predict, but this lady managed to pick up on. You picked a random number, I'll take the rest of them off, you know. Can you pick up the one card we stopped at? Can you pick it up? Fantastic. Hold on to that for the big reveal time. This is the holy grail of mentalism for those people who are magicians, hypnotists. This generally screws up, but if it works, everyone will go majorly mad with applause. Show them the card! It's the Jack of Hearts!